Hi, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. In today's video, I'm going to talk about McDonald's and their ridiculously high prices and how it forced me to kind of boycott them. Uh, before I go into that, please hit the subscribe button if you want to get the latest videos that I produce. It happened uh, two weeks ago. Uh, I know it's not the best food for me health-wise, but ever since I was a little kid, I have loved McDonald's. Just the basic couple of McDonald's hamburgers, a large fry. Eh, there it is. A large fry is close to $5 at the McDonald's restaurant that's two miles away from me. That McDonald's, by the way, happens to be one of the highest performing McDonald's restaurants in Ohio. The franchisee is unbelievable. He's a great guy. Um, uh, I've met him before. I've talked to him. So I don't, I, I, it doesn't please me to do this, but I've got to tell you, uh, uh, I don't go to his, uh, to McDonald's as much, uh, but because of us being a dual income working couple and some family stuff going on once in a while, I have to pick up McDonald's and, and it's convenient usually. Um, and two weeks ago, it was one of those times where I had to pick up McDonald's and uh it was a little chilly outside the weather was fine but it was a little chilly outside and you know once in a while the drive through line gets jammed up with some idiot that i don't know sits there for two minutes by the cashier and nothing happens in general it's a fast drive through but occasionally that's one aggravation and that's at any drive through any any uh mcdonald's taco bell uh, arby's whatever it happens uh but i said to myself you know what and this, this time it was just for me because I had to gra grab a, a, a quick meal. Uh, I said to myself, you know what? I don't want to go outside because it's kind of chilly. And I don't want to pay 12 or $13 for a meal or, or $11. I'm being nice. $11 for a, a, a meal at McDonald's. And I didn't go. And that is a first that I didn't go because the prices are so high. This is not something new. I remember uh, uh, about a year and a half ago, my brother-in-law telling me that um, he ordered McDonald's for himself and his two kids, and it was like $28. I said, what? $28? 30 bucks for a meal for three? At some place that's supposed to be convenient and offer good food at a fair price? No, this has been going on since the pandemic, and it hasn't stopped. Now, I know there was an issue with potatoes, so that explains, you know, maybe explained for a while the crazy high prices for French fries and McDonald's. But you know what? It finally happened. And I said, no, I'm not going. And I've made a conscious decision that I'm not going to visit my local McDonald's franchise restaurant until the prices go down. I am not paying five bucks for a large fry anymore. Now I know, Joel, large fries aren't exactly good for you. I know that. But it's one of my pleasures. So I do it. Uh, so there was a news story uh, a couple of weeks ago that McDonald's earnings were down. Really? Big surprise. You mean that consumers aren't going to McDonald's as much? Hmm. Could it be because of the high prices? Yes, it finally caught up. As a matter of fact, the CEO of McDonald's, according to someone that heard the earnings phone call, said this. I think what you're going to see as you head into 2024 is probably more attention to what I would describe as affordability. Really? It's further been learned that the CEO um, kept prices high on purpose to see if anything would result profit-wise. And it did for a while, but it's catching up now. So I would expect um, some dollar items to be on the menu soon. I would expect to see some price drops or McDonald's fries. But here's my point. I want to give this franchisee my business. I still like McDonald's, but these prices have been ridiculous for way too long, ridiculously high. And I, for one, am not going to tolerate it anymore. I'm the Franchise King. Thanks for watching. Uh, and, and before I go, you know, I know I'm the Franchise King and, I, and I'm supposed to support franchising, which I do. But you know me, I call out bad players once in a while. And I also call out things in franchising that shouldn't be going on. Stop, stop hammering on consumers with these high prices. 
McDonald's headquarters. Let's go give the franchisees some lower prices that they can sell their products for, and let's make it a win-win for everyone. Once again, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. Thanks for watching this kind of angry video.